Hello everyone, Ashes48 here, and today I'm working on my game. Um, I've set up a problem for myself um, to, that I have to solve. And uh, that is, in, in, in my game there's going to be puzzles and uh, things like that. So I'm going to need, uh, you know, like, right now I can put stuff into my inventory by clicking, say, uh, say if this is a, um, uh, a hammer, you know. I can click on this hammer, it'll put that in my inventory, no problem. And um, my... Uh, um, with the way my game is, I can it'll remove that hotspot. I mean, that's a single hotspot. But the way I've been doing it now with the with the video files, I'm using um, um, uh, show image maps for the hotspots. So I can add more than one hotspot. Uh, like there's this thing, it's, it's an image map, and then there's a add hotspot. There's a, just a single hotspot, one by itself. Uh, I'm not using those. And uh, this is just much simpler, and it, it works better for my game because it uh, here's the hotspots. There's three added, which is uh, here. Uh, you know what? Let me stretch these out a little bit because I need to be able to see if these are working correctly. But um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm making a puzzle that needs two pieces to be able to continue. So I need key one and key two to go to the next scene. <clears throat> and my problem is, okay, this works. Let me run this for you. So I can show you. I'll have to run it three times. Uh, so I have key one. I click. I clicked on it. And if I click next scene, uh, it won't go. It says, nope, I need, I need the key. So if I, if I click on key two, now it'll go to the next scene. So it's, it's added both of those keys. And what is happening is, when I click on those hotspots, um, hotspot one goes to label one, hotspot two here, or key two goes to label two, and next scene goes to the end label. Uh, here's label one, the first key. This adds a variable to the key. Uh, the target is a variable. Uh, the variable is the key, and it adds a value of one. And then, so let's set as one. That's only half of what I need. So when you click on number two, it adds one more variable. Variable. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it adds a value of two, one more. So that equals two. And then it'll allow you to go. You know, it'll allow you to pass. Then it's like a locking mechanism or a lock and a key. Um, but, uh, uh, and then what that does, after you click both of them, if you click just one, it jumps down to uh, the end. Uh, well, it don't jump anywhere. It just adds that variable. And this adds a variable. And then when you click the third link here, uh, these can be arrows or items or whatever you want. It doesn't matter. So think of like Resident Evil. You know, I had to have like three pieces of a, of a plaque or something to put together and to be able to solve the puzzle. Same thing. Uh, same uh, concept. Uh, just in a different look. Uh, so what happens when you click this, the end here, the next scene, it jumps to the end label. And that checks. Um, usually I'm using check check number, but I'm using else if on this one, and it seems to work too. So it works also. So check number. If number key is greater than one, which which is two, if you click both of them, then it'll jump to the finish. And the finish uh, loads the next scene, you know, the uh, test scene. Which is uh, that uh, treasure? I just threw anything in here uh, for for the time being, just to set this up, so that I could uh, figure this out. <laughs> now I've been working on this for about uh, I I, I want to say two hours, <laughs> but uh, I just started recording. I, I figured I'd uh, share my pain and suffering with you. <laughs> but um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, what's happening though is uh, there's a problem that I have is if you if you click. Um, Okay, if I click one, it doesn't work. Click the second one here, it does work. That's that's the way it's supposed to work. But if I go over here and click this one, it doesn't work. That's the way it's supposed to be. Click this one, it does work. That's the way it's supposed to be. But the players, uh, a player is unpredictable. So I need, I'm trying to predict what the player might do. So what if I click click this key twice? It works. It, it it shouldn't work. I don't need for that to work. So that's like uh, that's like me finding the gate here and clicking it twice and exiting the scene. Uh, I don't want that to happen. I need the key first. So that's my that's my issue. So if if a player clicks this one twice, uh, he he can exit, and I don't want that to happen. He needs to have number one and number two. And uh, I'm not sure how to do that. Now, I've tried it several different ways. I had this um, else if. I had a checklist, a check number here. And if it, and 
I had it set to, if it's equal to 2, it would still work. It will still work this way. But uh, the problem is, if you click this more than twice, you know, it keeps adding. It doesn't subtract from here. It adds one, you know. Uh, it it just keeps adding. It, it'll keep going and going and going. So if I click this 16 times, then you got 16 keys, you know. But the game only needs two only. And if you get above that two, then you'll never be able to exit the scene. It, you'll be infinitely there because it has to equal two. So that's why I changed this to is greater than one. So if it's greater than one, you know, it'll jump to the next scene. And I mean, this is fine, but I don't want the player to be able to click this twice and exit. I want the player to be able to click this once and this once and then exit. And I don't know how to set that up. So I'm going to figure this out later on. And um, for now, I wanted to show you, um, uh, I do have like some more of my uh, scenes made. And like, um, uh, like the ship's galley. Okay, the ship's galley is... Let me load this. Okay, but... The, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, uh, while I figure out that other problem, I'll show you um, what I've been doing here. Uh, this is the ship model that I've been using. And uh, it doesn't really have interiors. You know, you can't go in here. There's just nothing. Um, so I, I have been... I, I needed uh, the, the gun deck. I'm sorry, let me turn off the ocean. <laughs> Okay, uh, I had to place all these down here because I'm uh, adding things into into here. So a a this is the gun deck. It did have this, but I'll show you what it looked like before I added all the stuff to it. It's just it's just a big empty hole, <laughs> uh, basically. Uh, let me scale this up some. Uh, it's fine for now. It's just empty. It, it, it's got it has the cannons there, but yeah, here's what it, what it originally uh, originally looks like. And you can see there's nothing inside the you know it's just uh, there's no double faces or nothing like that back here. Like inside these doors. There's a little room, but it's very small, so I can't exactly use that. Uh, this one I can use because, you know, I've already... And I've already added, like, all the lighting. But this is going to be the um, the gun deck of the ship. And it's part of one of the scenes I'm work working on. And also, I finished the, um, uh, the ship's galley, uh, which is not in here anymore. I saved over it by accident. But I do have all of the recordings that I needed from it so i don't think it'll be a problem hopefully i don't have to go back and record anything else in it because i saved over it by accident uh, which sucks because i do not want to have to set that up again uh but yeah so you can go down here and in here now and there'll, there'll be a there will be a scene here and on the uh on the ship's galley i they don't have doors uh, like if i want to place a door here i actually have to spawn a model it, it's that model down there <laughs> So I have to go down here and like um, grab this door uh, and move it. Now that's because it's in a group of models, so I can take things off of this one. Not all the models in this game or in this uh, landscape engine is like that, but uh, some of them are. And luckily, they had one that had a door because I had no way of making it a door. I was just using like this wardrobe over here and scaling it up. Um, where's, where's that? Yeah, this one. <laughs> and scaling it up to use double doors, you know, you can take and uh, change the size of it like that to make it really big to use the just the doors that was in a wall. All this will be sticking out of the ceiling, <laughs> so that don't really work too well. Unfortunately, I don't have doors. I mean, I probably had the assets somewhere because I, you know, I I do have assets, but um, uh, it's gonna be a little room down here that uh, I needed to be here and I had to add these walls to the ship and everything you can see what it, what it is it's just this big enormous wall structure and I just had to place it you know had to clip it through the wall and uh, make it look like it's built inside of here which you won't be able to see outside the, this uh, area you know um, but uh, yeah this is how I have to accomplish certain things and I know that you know, there's there's better applications for this, but this is just the one I had on, had on hand. Uh, better game engines and stuff. Now I do have Unity. Uh, I don't have a license for it or nothing like that. But Unity, they have a leniency on that type of thing, which is really cool. But I have to, I really, I have to study. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I have to um, study uh, Unity a little more uh, to get a better understanding of it. And it's probably, honestly, it's probably more simple than this than what I have been using. Uh, who knows? But yeah, that's the way I add doors to things. <laughs> uh, that's the only door I've had. No, I take that back. 
uh, I did have to place one in the uh, uh, in the galley also. But I really wish I wouldn't have saved over that. <laughs> it's a pain in my butt. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, I do have uh, my uh, backgrounds created for the galley. Thank goodness. It's in the pirate ship here. So um, yeah, this is it. Is the... Now on the galley, um, I'm just using images because you're not really seeing the ocean and stuff. So there's no animations. But uh, I did create the first one here. And... You can kind of see and sound. Uh, I did add an animation to the image and sound effects. Turn that up some. Seems awfully quiet. Maybe I don't know. But the uh, the ship is rocking back and forth very very slightly. It moves from left to right. And I have the ocean sounds in the background and uh, the creaking of the ship. Uh, but all that is is uh, just this image. And it's loaded into a, a video editor, and, and then I add the sounds and stuff in the sounds and the animations into that. And uh, one of the other problems I had was with, uh, let me see, right here's one with the doors. That's what I was talking about, the double doors. <laughs> uh, I had to add them in like that. Uh, that's just that wardrobe. But it looks kind of natural, you know. But uh, the windows, there are no windows. And I had to add windows by, I just put picture frames up here and turned them around backwards. And I uh, added the lighter colored wood in here and some light sources. Uh, so what's happening there is, uh, let's see, when I when I go to make this video uh, for for this background, um, I'll be using uh, this and this. I'll be overlaying this. I made my own little windows. Uh, I don't know if I can actually do it in paint.net, but I'll try. Okay, just a invert and copy. And then you can see where the windows are there. I uh, just paste these over them. I tried to match up the colors the best I could. And, uh, yeah, uh, you can still see a little bit of the green in there, I think. Yeah, so i got to get rid of that green. I'll be doing it in a video editor, though, so it'll it'll take out that green. Hopefully. <laughs> um. So that adds my windows back in. And I'll probably lighten these up inside here where they're just dark because that's supposed to be looking outside and I want it to be very bright. So that's how I'm doing that. There's little tricks. But I do have all the scenes that I needed, I hope, because I had to make all of this. <laughs> uh, the ship's galley. Uh, I had to put all this stuff in place and hopefully I have all, everything I need. And uh, I'm going to go from there. <clears throat> Um, can't really think of anything else right now. Uh, I'm just trying to solve that one problem with the uh, with the key one and the key two, and I'll eventually figure that out. Uh, but right now, it's uh, very cold. It's snowing. I don't like it. I hate snow. <laughs> no offense to anybody that loves snow, but I don't like it. My bones hurt. I've been in a lot of uh, painful uh, accidents growing up. So, <laughs> um, uh, if if I had a camera when I was younger. Uh, me and a bunch of my cousins, we did pretty much the stuff that you see on the Jackass movies. <laughs> uh, we were those people. I was a skater, and uh, I, was, I was always uh, very, uh, very much a daredevil, and I hurt myself quite a bit. So <laughs> uh, it's no fun. I don't like the cold weather; it makes me bones hurt. Uh, shiver me timbers. All right, so um, I'll get back to you trying to solve this problem. And uh, hopefully you have enjoyed the content. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you next time. Bye.